Hello and welcome to my boss hunting guide part 2. This is going to be the King Black Dragon, which was one of the first bosses ever released on RuneScape. Uh, and is still killed for its money and its black D hide and dragon bones, which is quite peculiar, as there are a number of other methods like black dragons and just purely buying off the GE. So, here I go. Right, the requirements are quite low actually. It's only 70 range or 70 in melee stats. But range is recommended as then you'd only have to pray magic. But with melee stats then you'd have to either pray melee and use um dehyde or pray magic and use torgs or something like that, which is not really the best. Anti Dragon Shield is a must. Um DFS is not recommended as it has a negative range bonus of minus ten, which is quite outstanding to be honest. Another requirements are anti fire potion anti-poison potions, prayer potions, and ranging potions. These do highly increase your kills per hour, especially the anti-fire potion, anti-poison potion, because without these two, you would be eating non-stop. As the anti-fire potion, without it, you'll probably get hit 200 every single kit time. The anti-poison potion uh, um, is used because the KBD has four stars of attack. Its first is its normal anti-fire Oh, it's normal fire breath. Its second is the anti. Oh, is the poison fire breath. Its third is a um, sort of um, sort of ice attack, and then its fourth is a shock attack. Um, the ice attack uh, freezes you. It's not like ice barrage or anything like that. It just doesn't let you move or for like I think it's five to ten seconds. I'm not sure. Prey potions and ranging potions are best, though, are good to have as they, though, prey potions means you eat less food and ranging potions means you kill it quicker. High level food is also recommend, well, required. Uh, I don't recommend using anything below monkfish as it, the KBD can hit up to 100, so if you do eat a lobster after getting hit at 120, it's not really very effective, is it? So... Monkfish sharks. Um, I wouldn't go as far as rock tails because that gets quite expensive. As a, uh, even if you eat three, you're probably gonna lose money. So, on to uh, my actual account. So, um, as you see, I've got um, ranging potion, anti fire potion, super anti fire potion. Oh, super anti poison. Sorry, uh, five prayer potions and twenty sharks. In my war tortoise, I have an extra eighteen sharks. Um, you will be getting a lot through a lot more food than you will do like prayer, so don't worry about not having this many prayer potions. Um, you want to set your quick prayers for protect magic, eagle eye, or rigor, and protect item. I do use protect item because it's pretty rare that you actually, you know, well, it doesn't actually use up that many um, prayer points, and you can occasionally die, so but very rarely. If you have uh, 53 um, what you call it, um, wood cutting then I do suggest taking the canoe station to the um, the uh, wilderness pond so here we go and it will lead you up to the pond at level 35 wilderness. I'll show you on the map where it is. Right. takes a while to load, always does. Right, so there you go. Right above the wilderness volcano. So here it is just a short, well, sort of run to the entrance to the KBD layer. Right. I'll be right back because I'm going to be showing you the other method of getting there. So, see you guys in a minute. Right then, I am back to show you the other method of getting there. This is the obelisk method. It is just directly north of the Grand Exchange at level 13 wilderness. From here, you do take the obelisks around to level 44 wilderness or 35 wilderness. Um, the 44 wilderness one is closer, but I it takes forever to get to that one. I don't know why. They are completely random what location you could. So you could be here for, say, 10 minutes trying to get to the right location so I'll just quickly run up there you it's very unlikely that you'll find PKs along here I've only once found a PKer and uh, 
he didn't actually kill me so it was fine as you can see you will find bots around here sometimes don't attack them as you're just unscut or well, you're scuttling yourself for no reason whatsoever so here we go here's the uh, 35 oh yes get in there oh yes oh god oh oh no right, I, I'm gonna wait for him because uh, this is quite ideal actually I like right uh, he wasn't gonna come back so and even if he was he's probably going to uh, well my uh, water horse is probably gonna die because it's only got 13 minutes left so onwards all you have to do is just go sort of a west well northwesterly direction till you get to the um, you know it's pretty much the same um, route as the um, oh the uh, log um, the um, uh, watch for it, the boat method. I don't actually know what they're called. I'm just going to say the log method because you uh, hatchet it out of a log. So uh, once you get here, you're going to pot up. Uh, do remember to use uh, pot up your anti fire and all that before you go in and protect mage, as you will probably get hit at 200, and it's really annoying because you should really be using about four to six sharks per kill if you're my level with 80 range. Oh, oh, great. Okay. okay, I'm gonna have to wait out five whole minutes. Great. Uh, I'll see you guys in a sec because this l little noob teleblocks me. Right then, I've just went and reset my teleblocks by going back to Edgeville. So here it goes, second attempt. It right then. So once you get in here, you go to the lever. You click the lever. There we go. Put on your protections, right? And here you are in the KBD layer. Probably one of the easiest bosses in the game. You shouldn't really be using much food. I'm using broad bolts to be honest, so. There you go. It's like an eighth dead already. And uh, all you have to do is just sit back and just wait to kill it. So, uh, I'm gonna pause and, uh, uh, as you can see, actually, um, it, it uses fire breath most of the time, but on the odd occasion, it will use one of these ice attacks. Uh, there's the poison attack. So it's really the uh, poison and the all those ones and the ice attacks that hit you because the anti fire and the anti dragon shield combined do give you full protection against the fire breath. So it's pretty lucky that that's the like the most common out of all four attacks, but. You'll still get occasionally hit by the other attacks. Ooh, 252. There, there we go. I might not even need to pause it. It's just going quite well. <sighs> so. Alright, oh, okay. You have to repot. I've repotted. Got a nice range bonus there. Well, range level. So, uh, this is actually quite convenient because uh, in three days' time the Queen Black Dragon is going to come out. So, I'm probably going to do a uh, guide on how to kill it if you're low level on uh, Wednesday, maybe. Uh, maybe if I've, uh, if I've got some more free time, it, um, it might be a Wednesday. But I might have some exams. So, uh, well. I will be having some exams, sorry. And uh, so I might not have time. In which case I'll be doing it on the weekend. You don't want to get in melee distance as it can hit up to 300 with melee, so be aware of that. That's why range is pretty much guaranteed well needed. If you use melee, you probably won't get the kill anyway, unless you've got rapier. Some people do use... Uh, Anti super anti fires and then go with dragon defender with a uh, proselyte and a rapier. This does work quite well as you protect, mm, I think it's protect melee, and you do kill it so quickly that you don't actually eat using from the mage attacks. Because uh, the super anti fire, so pretty much all the 
hits that the dragon does with fire breath are blocked, and then the protect melee is blocked as well. So it's only the uh, toxic, toxic, the ice, and the uh, just, uh, the um, shocking attacks that actually affect you. But even then, you're killing it so fast you don't need it. So uh, there we go. It's finally dead. And uh, what have we got? Um, Adamant hatchet. Yay! Uh, what I'm more impressed about is those blue charms, so I'll get them. Yes. So uh, the KBD does have its perks, it does drop four charms at once, and it's got an outrageously high drop rate of cribs and charms for how easy it is to kill. I mean, on double loot weekend, I think in, it was last week, yeah, it, um, yeah, that was, every single world was full, and every single time I talked to a person, they would say, I'm here for double charms, etc, etc, because they'd be getting eight charms every three, four minutes, so, uh, that's pretty decent, considering you're making money as well, and that's, uh, compared to, uh, something like, um, Water Fiends, it, it, it's very good, you know. So, uh, here we go quickly do a second kill. I'll probably do this off camera so uh, I'll show you the loot afterwards so see you in a sec. So uh, there you go, uh, it didn't take uh, too long to skill, it was about, uh, about a minute twenty so uh, that was alright. There you go, Crimson Charms again and uh, I'm not going to bother the air room it's only 105 so uh, and I almost forgot at the beginning so uh, here's my equipment that I'm using. Hang on, there it is. Um, black Dehyde, um, Snakeskin Boots, uh, Rune Crossbow, and Dragon Shield, obviously. Um, broad Bolts, you can use Ruby Bolts, and uh, they're pretty decent, but uh, it does get quite annoying when it's such low hit points and you special attack and it hits like a 36 and then you get hit for like a 50 or something like that. You can use uh, Ruby, Ruby, um, just uh, normal Ruby Bolts, but that's a bit of a stupid idea. Diamond Bolt C, uh, I wouldn't recommend using these as uh, it's just it's not really worth it because you lose one bolt you've pretty much lost profit there because they're so expensive. Uh, Runite Bolts are a good option because they're really accurate for what they're worth. I think they're about 500 GP at the moment and uh, the King Black Dragon does drop uh, I think it's 5 to 22 Runite Bolts so you can easily restock. Um, a Gifix Coif, uh, this was just the cheapest in Grand Exchange, so I thought, eh, I should buy it. Um, Avas Accumulator and uh, Amulet of Glory. You can use an Amulet of Ranging, an Avas Alerta, uh, Chaotic Crossbow, uh, Full Aradamal, or anything like that. It depends how much money you have, really, but if you've got Full Aradamal, I don't think you should be here, to be honest. It's a bit of a stupid idea coming here if you have that much money. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed, and, uh, Good luck killing it, and good luck on uh, the dragon visage that you all probably want. So, uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe for more guides on uh, boss killing. Bye.